In this video, I will demonstrate free monitor setup using Samsung DeX Lina desktop environment and Termux Linux distro plus VNC. So let's start. Right, free monitor setup. Okay, I understand this is a bit of overkill. Uh, why you need this? You have a, let's say, um, a Double, uh, dual monitor, triple monitor, four monitor set up your Windows machine. But for a, some people, they like to have the data always with them. They work always with them. And I mean, um, you you done your what you, whatever you need to do. You unplug your phone and this is where all your data is stored. You don't need to worry if the machine in it is going to be, I don't know, taken over by your colleague or something. This is all where your information is stored. So, for those who like to be in a bit more control of the data, this is the setup I would like to demonstrate for you. Right. So to, I know this is not really practical or before I start showing this, I would like to address that. Yes, the way I'm going to set up, yes, it's, it could be not very user friendly, not very practical, but still it's, it's amazing that it can be done with just using your phone, obviously a Windows machine, but I mean all the power, all the, all the uh, computing power and everything will be done on your phone and the Windows machine will be used as a thin client, as a dumb client, just to basically to have a free monitors running but all the computing and everything obviously will be done on your phone. So how this is accomplished? First thing, um, we need to set up a Samsung DeX on Windows. I already have a Samsung DeX uh, software installed in this Windows machine and my Note 9 running Android 10. So Android 10 uh, and Samsung, Samsung when they pushed Android 10 version to a Galaxy devices, some of the devices already received this update and um, you can get the Samsung DeX for Windows working. If this update is not arrived by now, uh, just just wait. They, they Samsung pushing this. Probably by the time you're watching this video, the update is already on your device. So first thing, let's start Samsung DeX on Windows. I already have a USB Type C cable connected here. So um, I mean connected to the PC. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna plug in to my phone. My phone is telling me it's charging, and it should be in one of the monitors. The Samsung DeX uh, software start automatically or should start automatically so if it's not starting automatically we're just going to run it and it's telling me that my machine is doing some bits and it's not detecting so let's unplug and plug back in sometimes it's flaky i don't know why but it, it, it is um it is sometimes having a, a bad time let's say this way I um, do have a software running, animation starting. Uh, my phone's telling me that you're about to cast Samsung DeX. I'm gonna say start now. And this monitor is gonna be Samsung DeX running on Windows. So as you can see my wallpaper and I am inside DeX. I can go in app draw. Uh, I can obviously open the, uh, the browser and let's open the browser. It should load the, Samsung, the best website in the world or best group in the world, Samsung DeX. So that's, that's working. Let's take over this monitor. This monitor will be used for Lina. Lina desktop environment um, is if you if you if you basically a fan of the mobile computing, you probably heard about the project called Centio. Centio and Lina is basically a similar thing, and Dex basically all these three similar thing. Obviously, Dex is more polished. Centio is a bit flaky, and Lina I'm going to demonstrate with Lina desktop environment because it automatically scales to the monitor size. I don't need to worry about going and trying to amend some config file just to make sure the DPI and the resolution match in the, this monitor. So how to get Lina on this monitor? We're gonna use an app called Samsung Flow. Samsung Flow allows you to cast your phone screen to the Windows machine or cast your phone screen to a Galaxy tablet. About Galaxy tablet, I, I, I will demonstrate in, in another video. So right, let's do this. So let's start uh, Samsung Flow. I already have a Samsung Flow software installed on this Windows machine. You can find it inside the website or if you Google Samsung Flow, one of the first results will be official Samsung Flow website. So if you go in there and, and get this uh, downloaded and set up. Setting a process and connecting your phone to the Windows machine using Samsung Flow is pretty easy. Um, it's gonna ask you if your phone is connected to the same network as your 
Windows machine and you have three options to connect via wire, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I'm going to use Wi-Fi because I'm already using wired. Yes, you can use wire for both for DeX and Samsung phone. But I just like to leave the wire um, just being used or cable just being used for Samsung DeX and charging my phone. So I'm not going to interfere with another task on top of that. So Samsung Flow is running on, on the software, on the Windows machine, and my phone is already connected to that. There's a button at the top that says Smart View. If I click on a Smart View, it pops up my phone screen. So what you see here is actually my phone screen. I hope you can see this because the, 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 the sun is going through, uh, through a window. So uh, let me go this way. So hopefully you'll be able to see. Let me get the camera a bit closer. And as you can see, this is the uh, my phone screen. I can go to the same uh, website. Obviously, when I'm running Samsung Internet on this uh, environment, it closes on a DeX. So this is the one of the things you need to um, think about when you're using the same uh, browser on a two different devices, on a two different monitors from the same device. Sorry, I, I, I'm confusing you. So this is a Samsung DeX uh, separating group. I'm browsing on this. So actually, let's open. Let's open Chrome, Chrome browser on the on this Samsung Dex instead. Uh, so let me close all that. Oops, I closed everything. So let me start Chrome again, and we're gonna do Reddit. So let's start Reddit. Let's go and initiate the desktop environment, desktop website. So Samsung Dex on here, and Samsung Dex on here. So right now I can go and basically check between obviously i need to have two separate browsers running but i can have a one browser doing one things another browser doing another things and everything is being powered by my note 9. obviously like i said windows machine i've been treating this as a dumb client at the moment to get this done so right now we have the third monitor remaining right to get the third monitor what i need to do i'm gonna go on here and I'm going to run the app called Termux. So Termux is um, uh, like a um, console, console app, Linux console app that allows you to, if you are Linux geek, you will know how to use this. But, I'm, uh, but I am, I know just the basic stuff about Linux. So I, I watched a couple of tutorials how to get this set up and uh, all this basically set up and ready for me to, to use. I, I done all that before this video. Um, just to wrap up, uh, just to let you know what, what is being um, done, uh, Termux, and I'm using Andronix um, Android app, which allows you an easy, it's not allows you, but it's easy step-by-step -step guide how to get Linux distro running on your Android device, so I'm using that. I will leave a link in the description below if I remember to a video where I'm demonstrating how Andronix is working. So this is already running, and I do believe with VNC server already started. So, but we still, we just for this video, I'm gonna stop this VNC server and start again. So VNC server stopped. I'm gonna say VNC server dash start. And it gives me a couple options. I'm gonna use auto detect dynamic resolution just to make sure that the VNC and the Linux district detects what kind of monitor resolution this is. Whether this is, and actually all three of them are the same brand and they all 1920 by 1080p resolution monitor. So I'm going to use start VNC auto detect, press enter, doing whatever it needs to do to get this running and VNC started. So VNC started, let's minimize this and let's go back to my phone screen. On this monitor, I'm going to run a VNC, VNC program on Windows machine and I'm just going to connect to this. It's going to ask me for my super secret password and bingo. So right now, this is Ubuntu uh, distro X, uh, XFCE, I think it's called. Uh, I'm very bad at remembering these things. And it's modded version. About modded version, etc., you will find out what that means in the video about Andronix, where I created previously. But in a nutshell, modded OS it means um, it's a paid, uh, paid uh, add on inside the Andronix app. It's like one pound, 20 pence. It's, it's nothing, it's less than two dollars. And you pay, and they gives you a specific access to the Andronic servers, and you download already modded 
um, modded version of an Android, uh, sorry, or of Linux. And especially for me that knows nothing about Linux, I like when everything is already set up out of the box. So I just bought it and that's what I'm using. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the browser on this monitor now. And I'm gonna type Reddit, something Dex, and do, 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 okay, let's go directly to Reddit. Let's open Reddit. And I'm gonna search here a group called Samsung Dex. So opening Samsung Dex and opening up. So Samsung Dex running a website open on this, Samsung Dex open on this. We need to open on my phone screen. I will use like I mentioned called a project called Lina. Lina is basically some sort of like a launcher, uh, which allows you to um, allows you to have the the like a desktop environment running by the way what, what I was clicking there is a button here which forces my phone to go portrait or landscape I just clicked a couple of times to re-reset re, 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 this a lot of re-re-re here so let's search for in here and let's open Samsung Dex Reddit so let's open this up and okay notifications goodbye so let me sort this out and I need to go full screen. So what you see is Samsung DeX website open Chrome using Chrome browser inside the Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX subreddit group open inside Lina launcher using the built-in browser and Samsung DeX open inside Linux um, environment on the third monitor. So three monitor setup. You can't drag files between them. I mean, you can drag, press the file, drag to this monitor or press the file, drag to this and etc. But they all can access the same folder. So if you've done something on this monitor, on this environment, you click save and you can open this and vice versa. And it's a free monitor setup. I know uh, it's probably not that ideal to be used, but still I'm amazed that everything is being powered by my phone. By my phone, everything is powered. And when I'm done, I just unplug my phone and walk away. And all my data is with me. And I don't need to worry if somebody will access and do uh, a nasty things to my accounts. So, <laughs> I, I, amazing, amazing. Free monitor setup. Um, right, let's say I'm going to open in here a website, Google. Let's open google.com. So opening Google. Yeah, let's say I'm searching for Samsung Dex. Uh, no, next doc. Let's say I'm, I'm doing a, a research on next doc. So open the next doc. Uh, so it's basically next doc is like a lab doc. It's like a, a hard shell laptop that allows you to uh, connect your phones and use it as, as, the, uh, as the laptop. So brilliant, here you go, uh, no problem, let me search this. Somebody on the Samsung Dex Reddit group mentioned something about, let's say there was a post, here you go. One of you posted this picture, uh, showing you, showing everyone about how the next doc is set up. Brilliant, I can go on a third monitor and open, I, you know, let's see my, my Gmail account and uh, see what kind of emails I do have and, and get that sorted. And free monitor setup, productivity times free amazing so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below what you think don't forget if you're not joined by now you definitely need to join something Dex group on the reddit we at the moment 3703 fans 12 12 15 minutes ago i checked it it was less than 3700 so we just gained like seven to ten users from somewhere so you are definitely joining this group thank you very much uh, the more Samsung Dex fans out there, the better I believe it's going to be for everyone because we're all moaning and shouting at Samsung to get the things done. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.